One of the main concerns holding a lot of potential buyers back from buying an electric vehicle right now is concerns over the long-term reliability and durability given all of the new technology and the high potential replacement cost for a battery pack if it were to fa fail on an electric vehicle. In this video, I want to answer a few of those concerns by talking about my experience and research when purchasing my 2011 Chevy Volt. The Chevy Volt is an extended range electric vehicle, which means that there's a 35 mile electric range, and when you run out of battery power, a gas engine engages, which powers the electric motors at the front of the vehicle. Now this is the first year of the Chevy Volt, um, which was produced from 2011 to 2015, and then in 2016, Chevy came out with the second generation model. Now, Given that this is the first year of the Volt, it's a pretty good year to look at because a lot of times the main issues with electric vehicles occur right at the beginning of production. Now overall, it's been a very reliable vehicle. There have been very few repairs or issues with it. I've got another video on my YouTube channel that goes over the actual repairs that have been done to this vehicle since it was brand new. Um, so in this video, I wanted to talk more about that long-term durability and uh, the life of the range. So this has 73,000 miles on it, and there's been almost no reduction in the battery life on the vehicle. When I was researching the purchase of this vehicle, I also found statistics, and I don't know whether that's changed or not, that suggests that Chevy has not replaced a single battery pack in any volts since they started production. Now there's a really interesting website, and I'm gonna uh, jump there in just a minute and show you um, that site, um, really great website to look at if you're looking at getting a Volt, has a lot of information. It's called voltstats.net and what it is is it's a website that tracks real-time mileage and efficiency information from many Volt owners um, and uh, you're able to compare different Volts, the total mileage, their efficiency percentage that's run on electric range and on that website there's a 2012 Volt that's owned by a gentleman in Ohio, and he's put 378,000 miles on his Volt as of the date of this video. He's got a 220 mile commute, um, charges his battery at home, and then when he gets to work for his um, trip home. And um, looking, looking into his story a little bit, he says that he's seen no no or very little reduction in his electric range since buying the vehicle, and has seen a very high um, mile per gallon rating. So I'll jump there in just a minute and show you um, some of those statistics. Um, but like I said, on, on my Volt I've seen very few issues um, since it was brand new and the battery life seems to be um, plenty long to last the, uh, the life of the rest of the components on the vehicle. So this is the homepage of voltstats.net. And if you go down to this listing here, you can see that there's a number of Chevy Volts that owners have registered on this website um, in many different states. And you can sort by state, EV miles, total miles, percent EV, miles per gallon, miles per gallon electric, and miles per gallon CS. Now if we, um, if we go to total miles, so you can see that there's a 2017 model that's only got 131.87 miles, so it was re recently registered. If we replace that, now you can see here's Sparky in Ohio. It's got 378,079 miles. Then we've got one in Arizona that's at 237,000 miles. So you can see looking at this that there are already a number of volts with extremely high mileage. And then you can also sort by EV percentage. So here we've got some volts that have been running 100% EV versus there's some others here that they've done a very small percentage, uh, probably have really long highway commutes um, and aren't able to capture that as much. Uh, we've got miles per gallon. So it looks like the lowest, lowest one is just under 34 miles per gallon all the way up to 130,432 miles per gallon. So it's a really interesting website if you're looking at getting a Volt. It gives you a lot of statistics on um, experience from other Volt owners.
So one of the things that concerned me the most when I was shopping for my Volt was I was thinking, okay, you've got a gas engine, you've got electric motors, you've got your battery pack. You basically have an electric car and a gas vehicle combined into one vehicle. So it seems like there's twice as much that can go wrong with the car. And so I was a bit concerned about, okay, does that mean that I'm gonna have twice as many repairs or is there just gonna be more that can go wrong with the car? And like I said, it's been really reliable so far. And my perspective on that has really changed with the Volt to where it's like, yeah, you've got a gas engine and you've got an electric, um, electric side of the vehicle. But at the same time, in a way that almost means that you've got two systems, which means, you know, it extends the life of the vehicle double in some capacities. There's certainly some components like the electric motors that are being used at all times. But I've got a Volt here that's run a um, significant portion. I'm averaging about 250 miles per gallon. So a significant portion of the mileage has been strictly electric, which means I have a gas powered engine inside of this vehicle that's nearly brand new. And so one of the really nice things about that too is even if the electric range were to diminish over time, when that happens and the range uh, begins to drop, I've got a gas engine in the vehicle that's nearly brand new and has plenty of life left, left in it. So if you're concerned about the long-term durability of an electric vehicle, hopefully this video will give you a little bit more peace of mind about um, taking the plunge and getting into an electric vehicle. My 2011 Volt with 73,000 miles seems to be running great um, and showing very little indication of any wear to the battery pack. You saw on voltstats.net that there are a couple volts that are up in the 200,000 and 300,000 mile range. Um, those drivers are still um, adding miles on a daily basis. With an electric vehicle, your chance of failure in, in many aspects is even lower because there's so many less moving components in an electric vehicle than you've got in a com you know traditional combustion engine. So I would encourage you to continue to um, you know, do other research and see what other electric owners, uh, electric vehicle owners have to say about the durability of their vehicles. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.